Hello everyone, uh, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have uh, 4 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t divided by 2 and it is equals to 6. So we solve this problem for the values of t. So here uh, first we uh, rewrite uh, this uh, uh, equation as in this form. Here you see that this 2 is divided by here when we move in the right hand side. Uh, it is multiplied by 6 and it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of t is equals to 6 multiplied by 2. So that uh, here uh, this equation is written as 4 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t equals to 6 times of 2 becomes here 12. So now uh, here uh, uh, here I can just discuss some common mistakes some students do this type of mistakes and he can just uh, apply directly the log of this term uh, so uh, this is the common mistake uh, which I can uh, discuss here okay so uh, you cannot do this type of mistake in order to solve this question properly and correct way okay uh, some students just do uh, he can just take the log uh, on both of the sides uh, in this way so this is the wrong method you cannot uh, uh, solve this problem with th this method it is very difficult way to solve this problem so this is not a correct way to solve this problem okay so uh, in order to solve uh, this equation in correct way we can uh, just uh, uh, make some simplification here and we will uh, rewrite this equation as in this form so this is 4 and we write this 4 as 2 square and its exponent is t minus this is 2 to the power of t is equals to 12 uh, and after this step we will apply here the nice exponent law uh, and now according to this exponent law we know that if you have a to the power of uh, m uh, to the power of n uh, so we will just interchange these two exponents and we write it as a to the power of n to the power of m so according to uh, this exponent law we will just interchange these two exponents and we uh, write it as in this form 2 to the power of t and its whole square minus 2 to the power of t is equals to 12 uh, and now here uh, we need uh, to take the base of this equation is equals to x so that our x is equals to 2 to the power of t uh, so that when you put 2 to the power of t equals to x so that this equation is written as in this form this is x squared minus x is equals to 12 and now further uh, you see here uh, this equation will become quadratic in x variable so that uh, here we will solve this equation uh, by applying the quadratic formula or uh, you have another method is that you will uh, you can just do this question by uh, break its middle term okay so you can solve uh, both of the method so uh, please apply which method you can like here uh, and now here we will um, apply here the factorization method and we can uh, break its middle term uh, before break its middle term we move this 12 in the left hand side and it will be written as x square minus x minus 12 is equals to 0 so here we need uh, two numbers whose product uh, is 12 and whose sum is minus 1 uh, it means that we find the numbers whose product is minus 12 and whose sum is equals to minus 1 uh, so uh, the numbers whose product is minus 12 is minus 4 uh, multiplied by 3 and the numbers whose sum is minus 1 is minus 4 plus 3 so minus 4 plus 3 equals to minus 1 and minus 4 times of 3 equals to minus 12 so these are the factors of this equation so that we will break its middle term according to these numbers and it will be written as uh, x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 equals to 0 uh, and now here further uh, we will take common x from the first two terms and when you take common x the remaining terms are x times of x minus 4 plus here we take common 3 and remaining terms are x minus 4 equals to 0 
and now in the next step uh, we need to take common x minus 4 and when you take common x minus 4 uh, we will obtain here x um, uh, x plus 3 and this is equals to 0 so now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we will take uh, x minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we will take uh, x plus 3 equals to 0 and now here uh, from first case we will easily get the value of x is equals to 4 and from this case we get the value of x is equals to minus 3 and now here uh, we need to move backward and we substitute the value of x so this is the value of x equals to 2 to the power of t so when you substitute this value of x here it will be written as 2 to the power of t is equals to 4 and this will be written as 2 to the power of t equals to minus 3 and now here because we solve this problem for the uh, values of t so uh, here uh, we need uh, uh, some working uh, here to uh, find the values of uh, t so that in order to find the values of t here we write uh, this equation as 2 to the power of t equals to we write this 4 as 2 squared and if you focus here uh, this is 2 to the power of t equals to minus 3 and here we know that 2 to the power of t be the exponential function and exponential function always gives us the positive value it is not possible an exponential function equals to some negative number so uh, so that uh, this case is not possible and uh, we will uh, rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only so now according to this case uh, you see here the basis on both of the sides are same so we create its exponent according to this law we will apply here this exponent law if you have a to the power of m equals to a to the power of n so this uh, law is implies that uh, m is equals to n so according to this we can just equate its exponents and it will be written as t is equals to 2 so this is the our final answer of this question or this is the final value of t in this problem so now here in the next step we need to verify this value of t so that in order to verify the value of t uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here it is 4 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t divided by 2 and it is equals to 6 so here we will substitute the value of t here so when you put this value of t here it will be written as a 4 square minus 2 square divided by 2 and here we check that is this equals to 6 or not so here you see that uh, 4 squared is equals to 16 minus 2 squared equals to 4 and it is divided by 2 and here our claim is to check that is this equals to 6 or not. Uh, so here you see that uh, 16 minus 4 equals to 12 divided by 2 and here we check that is this equals to 6. So you see that this is 2, 6 is 12 so this is 6 is equals to 6. This shows that the values of t satisfy the given question statement uh, and this is the final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos